We give you thanks, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, have thine own way. God, be glorified in this place, oh God. In the name of Jesus, be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. God, you get the glory. In the name of Jesus, God heal today, set free by your power. And God, we thank you today. Go in and out of the hospitals this morning. Oh God, save, deliver, heal, God, by your power. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, remember my way with children today. In the name of Jesus, God, draw them in. In the name of Jesus, God, remember those on the street corner. God, that's in need of you today. Remember those in the drug house this morning. God, remember them in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you. Oh, God, I thank you, God, that the high, they won't get high no more. And so, Lord, I thank you today. In the name of Jesus, God, you are a strong deliverer. Oh, God, you are a strong savior. And God, we give you praise today. We give you thanks today, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, and God, we forever will give your name the praise. Remember every person in this building. Remember every person on their way. In the name of Jesus, I remember the absent part of the church. In the name of Jesus, but God, we thank you today. And we vow to praise you. Oh God, we vow to give you glory. We vow to worship you. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we vow to bless your name, God, because you are worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be adored. You're worthy to be lifted up. And God, we praise you now, God. We give you praise in the sanctuary. We clap our hands. We open our mouth and we tell you thank you. Oh God, we tell Thank you. Oh, God, we tell you thank you. Because it could have been another way. And so, Lord, we thank you now. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Have your way. Get in every song. Get in every testimony. Get on every person. In the name of Jesus, oh God, have thine own way. Father, we thank you now. We give you praise. We give you the glory. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to God.
worship him. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship him. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship him. Hallelujah. Jesus, 
time. But God, you spared us. And God, we thank you, oh God. Thank you that you carried us through the night season. Thank you, oh God, that you woke us up with joy in the morning. God, we said, I'm a whole shy. God, we say thank you. Oh God, thank you that you woke us up with victory on our side. God, I thank you this morning. Hallelujah. That's why we praise you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's not about material things, but it's the things that are eternal. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's the things that are eternal in the heavens. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are the God of eternal things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're the master of everything. Oh God, you orchestrate it well. Hallelujah, you do all things well. Hallelujah, glory to God. And for that we say thank you. We say thank you this morning. Thank you for saving us. Hallelujah, thank you, oh God. Thank you for keeping us. Hallelujah, thank you, oh God, for protecting us, oh God. Hallelujah, thank you. Hallelujah, thank you for loving us. Thank you. God, we say thank you. Thank you that you loved us when we didn't love ourselves. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah, that you watched over us and we didn't even know we needed to be watched over. Thank you that you kept us from danger seen and unseen. God, I thank you this morning. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you that you are the source of our strength, that you are the strength of our life. And God, we lift our hands. Hallelujah, and total praise unto you. Father, we thank you now. We bless you in the sanctuary. Hallelujah, glory to God. There's no God. Hallelujah, like our God. Hallelujah, glory to God. We just take this time, hallelujah, to praise you. Sometimes, God, we don't have the right words to say, but we lift our hands. Hallelujah, well, we don't know what to say. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you for your spirit that makes intercession for us with moans and groanings that cannot be uttered. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah, God, and we praise your name. God, you're wonderful. Come on, Zion, I can't hear y'all. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, those that's listening online, in your homes, come on, open your mouth. Lift your hands. Hallelujah, glory to God. And give God a praise. Hallelujah, glory to God. He deserves it. Come on here. Hallelujah, he deserves it. Hallelujah, he deserves your worship. He deserves your praise. I understand everybody can't worship. Hallelujah, but the Bible declared everything that has breath. Come on here. Ought to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, open your mouth and praise him. Oh yes, open your mouth, open your mouth. Hallelujah, and praise him. Hallelujah, glory to God. If the birds in the trees, come on here, can praise him. So can you, come on here. Hallelujah, glory to God. I was created to praise. Yes, Lord. I was created to praise. I was created to praise. I was created to praise. Ah, God. I was created, hallelujah, to praise our God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Yes, I was. I was created to praise him. Hallelujah, glory to God. I was created to worship. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, that's what I was created for. Hallelujah, glory to God. I was created. Hallelujah, tell yourself I was created. Hallelujah, to praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, we praise his name. Hallelujah, I praise his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I praise his name. Wonderful is the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, excellent is the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, wonderful is his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, I thank you. Hallelujah, wonderful Savior. Hallelujah, he's a wonderful counselor. Hallelujah, yes he is. Hallelujah, he's my best friend. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's my mother, he's my father. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, he's the friend that's sticking closer than any brother. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, and I give him glory. Hallelujah, I give him honor. Hallelujah, I give him praise. Hallelujah, even when my heart is overwhelmed. Hallelujah, I go to the rock. Tell somebody he's my rock. Hallelujah, he's my rock. Hallelujah, hallelujah, he's my rock. Hallelujah. When I need a savior, when I need a friend, I go to the rock. Hallelujah, that rock is Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everything that you have need of is wrapped up in him. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everything that you have need of. Hallelujah. It's all wrapped up in him. Hallelujah. And we give him praise and we give him glory. Glory to God. Clap your hands as you're going to your seats. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Great is our God. Hallelujah. And greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Great is our God. Yes. And he's greatly to be praised. There's some other gods. I said, but great is our God. Our God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Great is our God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And he's greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, our God is still living. Hallelujah, he still sit on the throne. Hallelujah, he's still moving, he's still blessing. Hallelujah, he's still working miracles. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. Hallelujah, with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, he's an awesome God. Yes, he is. He's an awesome God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. We give him glory. I am a high. Yes, God. I am a high. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We thank him. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. And all the time, God is good. Hallelujah. Takes away nothing from him. Oh, God. God is good. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's good. Hey, God. He's good. Thank you, Sister Johnson. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, he's good. He's good. Yes, he's good. Yes, he is. Yet doing. 
Hallelujah. We give God the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just got to give up the sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because sometimes you don't feel like praising and glory to God. Hallelujah. But something about that sacrifice or whatever caused God to move. Oh, yes, it will. Hallelujah. Give God the sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. Because he's still worthy. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He's still worthy. Yes, he is. Hallelujah to be praised. And we thank him today. And we praise him. Hallelujah. We honor God. Hallelujah. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, clap your hands for the apostle. Come on, clap your hands for the lynch. Clap your hands for yourselves. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. For you, you, and you, amen, being in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Glory to God. We just thank God. Amen. Glory to God. I want to, amen, share with you from the word of God this morning. Amen. Not coming from a particular passage of scripture. In fact, I'm coming from multiple, amen, passages of scripture just to prove a point, all right? I'm going to use, glory to God, these scriptures just for the context of the scripture. Glory to God, not delving necessarily, amen, into a story today, amen, but I came to encourage you, the people of God, amen, from the word of God, amen, glory to God. I'm going to begin my reading with Acts chapter number two, amen, I'm going to read verses number 17, and I wish that you would write these down and read them in your leisure time, amen, amen, Acts chapter two, uh, verse number 17 says, and it shall come to pass, in the last days, say of God, that I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. What did I read? The first five words. What did I read? The first six words. Those. Amen. Got your Bibles. Amen. And it shall come to pass. In the last days, all right? We're going down to Acts chapter number two. I need you to listen and pay attention. Amen. Acts chapter two, verse number 21. And it says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. What was my first six words? And it shall come to pass. Thank you. You were listening that time. Zechariah chapter number 14, verse number six. And it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear, no dark. What was my first six words? All right. Deuteronomy chapter number 28, verse number one and verse number two. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee, and they shall overtake thee, and thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What was my first six words? Y'all got to say it like you mean it. Isaiah 65, verse number 24, and it says, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Y'all ain't talking. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. What was my first six words? And it shall come to pass, say it like you mean it, and it shall come to pass. Joel chapter number 2, verses 28 down to verse 32, and it shall come to pass. Afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your own men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and also upon the servants, upon the handmaidens, in those days I will pour out of my spirit and I will show thee wonders in the heaven and in the earth, blood and fires and pillars of smoke and the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. But before the great and terrible day of the Lord shall come, and it shall come to pass, y'all ain't talking, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in the Mount Zion and in 
Jerusalem shall be delivered as the Lord has said. Come on here. And in the remnant of whom the Lord shall call. What was my first six words? Isaiah chapter number 10 verse 27 says and it shall come to pass in that day that which his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. What was my first six words? And it shall come to pass. And so now I need y'all to help me declare this subject for this morning. Glory to God. What was my six words and it shall come to pass come on here you gotta believe it saints of God that it shall come to pass come on here can you turn to somebody and say he's a promise keeper oh God y'all are excited he's a promise keeper and so now every scripture that I read to y'all this morning it started out by saying and it shall come to pass and so now what helps me to understand believe glory to God because there are more scriptures that said and it shall come to pass come on here but when I went to the word of God glory to God you gotta understand this will help me believe it Matthew 24 and 35 says this that heaven and earth shall pass away but it's my words that shall not pass come on here pass away glory to God but then I went over to Isaiah 55 and 11 and the word of God says so shall my word be come on here that goeth forth out of my mouth that it will not return unto me boy come on here but it shall come on here accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing that I said it come on here and so somebody holler and it shall come to pass oh God and so now glory to God as I looked at numbers 23 and 19 it said that God is not a man that he should not, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said it? Come on here. Shall he not do it? Question mark. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Have he spoken it? Glory to God. And shall he not make it good? Question mark. And so now I want to read that same verse from the Christian Standard Bible. It says, For is not a man that he should not, neither the son of man. That he should change his mind. Y'all ain't talking. He said, does he not speak and not ask question mark? He said, does he promise and not fulfill question mark? And so I came to declare in y'all hearing this morning. And that it shall come to pass. Come on here. It shall come on here. Come to pass. Not might. Come on here. Not maybe. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But it shall. Y'all ain't talking. Come to pass. It shall, it shall come to pass. One of the expressions most commonly used in the Bible, come on here, is the title of this message. And it shall come to pass. It indicates now that things must happen. Glory to God. And so in the English language, glory to God, hallelujah, shall is a strong word, glory to God, used to say that something must happen, y'all ain't talking. And what are we saying in essence? That God is going to bring the past, hallelujah, that which he has promised. Come on here. And so when I went to the dictionary, glory to God, I looked up the word shall even the more. Come on here. And so I want y'all to write it down when you wrote down your scriptures. Come on here. Shall means glory to God. It means plan to. It means intend to. It means expect to. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I shall go over there later. That's what we're saying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I shall mean that I am determined to. Uh -huh. I definitely will. Come on here. You shall do it. Come on here. He shall do it. Glory to God. A uh, shall means. Come on here. That it is a must. Come on here. Hallelujah. It's you to express glory to God a command or an exaltation come on here in essence glory to God when your parents was fussing at you glory to God they say you shall come on here they say you will glory to God in essence at the end of the day it's a must y'all ain't talking and so what am I telling you glory to God that every promise that God has made unto his children it's a must that he accomplished it come on here everything that he's spoken yes Lord it shall Come to pass. Hallelujah, it shall come to pass. And so when I went on looking, come on here, 
because you can't read the Bible and not get an understanding. And it said, and it shall come to pass. Glory to God. And so when I kept looking at the word pass, glory to God, it means that it got to move. Come on here. It means that it got to proceed. Come on here. But what I love about the last two words, come on here. It said that it got to happen or occur. Y'all are talking. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So what am I saying, y'all? That it shall, that it will. Come on here. That it must. Come on here. It got to happen. It got to occur. No, you got to read the Bible. Read the Bible to read the Bible. That's what the apostle said. Uh-huh. You gotta read the Bible. Come on here. You gotta know he said, and it shall come to pass. Come on here. And it shall. It's got to happen. It will happen. It will occur. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. This is good news. Somebody ought to been shouting. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know you got twisted along the way. Hallelujah. I know you felt like God wasn't gonna do it. I know you heard what you said that you felt like maybe God wasn't on your side, but can I tell you, and it shall come to pass. Understand, understand. Hallelujah, y'all ain't excited enough for me. Hallelujah, glory to God. Because I was shouting myself last night. Hallelujah, as I was preparing this message. Hallelujah, when I got done, I got up in my kitchen and I start doing like this. And it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, glory to God. Don't care what it look like. Don't care how it's been. Y'all ain't talking. And it shall, y'all don't know. It shall. It shall come to pass. Oh yes, oh yes. I'm excited about it. Oh yes, I am. I'm excited because it shall come to pass. It will happen. It will occur. It's gotta happen. It must happen. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. It's moving in my direction. Oh yes, it's turning.
time. Yes, it will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He got every intention to do it. Hallelujah. He planned to do it. He's determined to do it. Yes, Lord. He shall do it. Yes, Lord. He will do it. of God. 
And so now we got to understand, I'm going to give you seven things, glory to God, that you should not be doing, glory to God, when it comes to the promises of God. Uh-huh. You do not blame God. Come on here. You don't go crying, whining, and, and complaining, glory to God. At the end of the day, if God said, I'm going to do it, glory to God, you got to take the man at his word. Come on here. Y'all know how we do it, God. Why me? Glory to God. I'm your child. Glory to God. And unfortunately, God is not moved by your sympathy. Come on here. Your crying or your pity parties. Come on here. But the word said he was touched with the feeling of our infirmity. Come on here. He was touched with the feeling of your infirmity, but not your emotions. Come on here. At the end of the day, don't blame God. Glory to God. Number two, don't break down. Glory to God. Don't break down in tears and sobbing. Glory to God. Because you give the devil ammunition against you. Glory to God. And so understand that you got to rejoice in the Lord. Come on here. Number three, don't give up in this season. Glory to God. Knowing that God who has promised. Glory to God. Somebody holler, he shall do it. Come on here. Yeah. And he said, wait patiently upon him. Glory to God. Don't allow the blessings that God, hallelujah, has for you that he will give to somebody else because of your mumbling, grumbling, and complaining. Come on here. But the Bible says my words was I sent out. Glory to God. That it will not return to be void, glory to God, but it will accomplish that which I have sent to come on here. Tell somebody, don't give up in this season, glory to God. Number four, don't be discouraged, glory to God. Discouragement should not be found in the dictionary of the believer, glory to God. A discouraged person is a helpless person. A discouraged husband, glory to God, will make it unbearable for the wife, come on here. A discouraged wife, glory to God, can make it hell for a husband, come on here. At the end of the day, discouragement, glory to God, is a very useful tool that the hand uh, that the enemy uses, glory to God, against us as the people of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. The enemy will sell you discouragement, glory to God, at an expensive rate, glory to God. Hallelujah, but you understand now, hallelujah, that the word of God is the greatest weapon that you have against the enemy, glory to God. Number five, don't lose your joy in this season. You know we sing it, glory to God. After all I've been through, glory to God, I still got joy. Come on here, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Don't lose your joy in this season. Number six, don't you worry about it. Come on here. Anyone who worries, glory to God, is paying some expensive uh, money, glory to God. Not necessarily money, but excessive luggage of the enemy, glory to God, because the enemy will make you carry around, glory to God, worry, glory to God, and weight you down, glory to God, and to the point that you don't believe that it shall come to pass, glory to God. Number six, glory number seven, do not fear, glory to God, for fear has torment, come on here, that the devil uses to withdraw peace from you. Anyone, glory to God, that entertains fear, glory to God, you in the wrong space, come on here. But the Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a, a power and a sound mind. Come on here. And those are the seven don'ts, glory to God, that you should not be dealing with, glory to God. Not when you believe that it shall come to pass. Come on here. And so now, the reason why we shouldn't believe that, come on here, because 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says this. There have no temptation taken you, but that which is common to man. But God is faithful. Somebody holler, God is faithful. Hallelujah, that he will not suffer you to be tempted. Above all that you're able, come on here. But will with the temptation also, come on here. He gonna make a way of escape for you, come on here. That you might be able to bear it, come on here. And when you do these seven things, glory to God, it's a sign that you don't believe God. It's a sign that you don't trust God. It's a sign that you don't believe in the power of God. But what I came to tell y'all today, that it shall come to pass. Come on here, testify to your neighbor and say, it shall come to pass. Come on here, but this is what you should be doing. Come on here, I told you what not to do. Come on here, but I'm going to tell you now what you should be doing in this season. Glory to God. And we say it all the time, I'm not going to wait till the battle is over. Come on here, but I'm going to bless God right now. Come on here, and so now.
number one. Glory to God. You want to rejoice in the Lord always. Come on here. According to Philippians chapter 4, verse number 4. Glory to God. It said rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Come on here. Hallelujah. The writer here. He said, I need you. Glory to God. Regardless of what you're going through in your life, I need you to rejoice. Come on here. But then he turned around. He said, and rejoice again. Come on here. At the end of the day, glory to God, there's going to be another opportunity. Come on here. That's going to knock at your door. Glory to God. And you still ought to be rejoicing. Glory to God. When Paul was writing this letter, glory to God, to the Philippian church, he was in prison. Glory to God. His feet was bound. Glory to God. But yet he was encouraging the people of God. How can you do that, Paul? Come on here. And you in bounds and change yourself. But Paul said, look here. I will rejoice unto the Lord. Hallelujah, glory to God. When Paul and Silas was in prison, glory to God, they began to sing praises when natural things, glory to God, was totally against them, glory to God. When they should have been crying, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, glory to God. They was going through Jesus. And so their praises now, y'all, it, 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 it generated an earthquake, which then now began to set them free, glory to God, including the other prisoners, glory to God. And so what am I saying? Glory to God. When you feel like you're in prison, come on here. You ought to be rejoicing. Come on here. When you're going through, come on here. You ought to be rejoicing. Come on here. Because at the end of the day, glory to God, sometime when you're rejoicing, come on here. You get out a little faster. Glory to God. When you change your position, come on here. When you change your attitude, come on here. You'll get out a little faster. Glory to God. And so when the enemy think you ought to be crying, come on here. You start rejoicing. Hallelujah. Because I believe God, come on here, in the midst of adversity, come on here, I believe God, yes Lord, hallelujah, in the midst of what I'm going through, come on here, I believe God, come on here, because sometimes you got to tell the devil, and it shall come to pass. Number two, number two, you got to seek uh, to know from God what God was really going on. Uh -huh. Sometimes he's interested in showing you the secret behind your problem. Come on here. If you would only ask him, glory to God, you do not wander around in the dark, glory to God. And sometimes there are lessons that the Lord wants us to learn, glory to God. Sometimes he wants to develop us, glory to God, to a higher level or to another place, glory to God, before he gives us what we've been asking for. And most times a delay is good for our own good because it's a clear way to show us glory to God. Hallelujah. To enjoy the blessings of the Lord at the fullness. Come on here. And so instead of crying over a situation now, you got to go to God in prayer and say, Lord, show me what I need to see here in this season of my life. Come on here. Hallelujah. And if he is saying yes or no, oh wait, come on here. So you got to know what God is doing in this season. You got to inquire of the Lord. Come on here and ask him, should I or should I not? Come on here. And so understanding now, glory to God, uh, many young people are fussing over the issue of being married, glory to God, and they want to know how to get their partners, but they still got all these little sins in their life. They still lying, come on here. They still sneaking around, come on here. They steal and they angry, come on here. They hurt, come on here. But yet you want God to do something and you're not ready, glory to God. And so now you got to ask God why, come on here, and ask him to show you glory to God and you gotta be willing to hear what he gotta say come on here the Lord may be saying glory to God you should have sought some things out within yourself glory to God about you glory to God why again would I give you something and you're not ready glory to God I understood and read glory to God John Wesley Glory to God. He's the founder of the Methodist Church. Hallelujah. But when he was about to die, somebody asked him, glory to God, what he regretted most in life. And he said it was his wife. Come on here. If it had been, if I had been more patient, come on here, the story would have been a different way. Come on here. Yet this was a man who did great exploits for God. Come on here. Every time he opened his mouth, glory to God, people were falling out under the anointing. And so what am I saying he was so anointed yet he was so defeated and 
some areas of his life y'all ain't talking and so what am I saying you got to inquire of the Lord come on here as to what's going on in your life why am I not receiving the blessings of the Lord what am I doing wrong come on here I gotta stop blaming everybody else come on here and God I need you to turn the search light on me come on here I'm tired of pumping everybody else's problems come on here I'm tired of praying for everybody else's things come on here but God I need you to show me come on here show me me glory to God and so many people now are asking for financial breakthroughs and if God was to give it to you now come on here you'll run through all that money come on here and ain't got nothing in savings come on here and ain't got nothing to show for it come on here why would God want you to be rich come on here and not have a relationship Shit with him because you know money will turn you away from people. Come on here. Money will turn you away from God. Come on here. And so why would he give it to you? Come on here. After all, he want a relationship with you. Come on here. He want this one-on-one -on -one intimate relationship with you. Glory to God. Number three, you got to persevere in this season. Come on here. You got to remain steadfast. Come on here. Continue in the work of the Lord. Glory to God. You got to continue serving God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To the point where it's not a problem. Glory to God. It is not how fast you go that matters. But how well you run it. Come on here. You must be persistent in prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For the race is not given to the swift. But the one that's persevered to the end. The one that endured to the end. Come on here. Number four. You got to live a holy life. Come on here. Yeah. Yeah, we want God to do some stuff for us, but our life is jacked up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our life is raggedy. Glory to God. And we still want God to do all these great things for us. Glory to God. But the Bible declared that holiness without. Come on here. No man shall see the Lord. Come on here. Tell somebody you got to be holy. You got to be holy. You got to be holy. And so now one day. Isaiah was in the house of God and the king of Israel Uzziah had just died and suddenly Isaiah saw the Lord high and lifted up as from that moment his life was never the same again and these people now experience a divine visitation and were never the same again and this made the glory of God to pass by in their life. Come on here. And so when we go over to Judges chapter 6. Here we have Gideon who was frightened. Glory to God. And he hid himself from the Midianites. Glory to God. And suddenly an angel appeared to him. Telling him that the Lord was with him. He's with you Martia. And that was the turning point in the life of Gideon. His life was never the same. Come on here. And Saul was threatening to kill the believers on his way. And suddenly he heard the voice of the Lord Jesus. And he was never the same again. That's in Acts chapter 9. Write it down. So therefore what I'm saying to you as the people of God. That this now is a miraculous turning point. Hallelujah. Of your life. Glory to God. Because at the end of the day that your life should never be the same. Come on here. When God comes on the scene. Yes Lord. You got to understand that God is a specialist in doing things big ways. Come on here. He start big things in small ways. Yes, Lord. And your prosperity can start, hallelujah, from something really small. The life of Jesus started by his birth, glory to God, in a lonely place in a manger. Come on here. But yet understanding that he was the savior of the world, glory to God. The beginning of Joseph's breakthrough, glory to God, was just because he was able to interpret somebody else's dream glory to God and so when his brother sold him off glory to God they thought they was the end of Joseph glory to God Daniel's promotion in the king's palace glory to God it started off glory to God with the king's dream glory to God and so now uh, Daniel is interpreting dreams but yet that was the uh, uh, the start of his ministry come on here and so we talked about Peter and them last week glory to God they lent Jesus the boat. Come on here. Because Jesus said I just need y'all to go back out one more time. I just need y'all to drop the net one more time. Come on here. And so God fulfill his promise. And somebody holler and it shall come to pass. 
Y'all got to understand that I came to encourage you as the people of God. Hallelujah. To see now that God is getting ready to turn some things around in your life. And Job 8 and 7 says this. Uh, it says, though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. And Zechariah 4 and 10 it says, for who have despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice and see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven and they are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Glory to God. And so when you come to the Lord, don't give God all your conditions. Come on here. All you got to do is trust and obey. Come on here. The Bible says in Psalms 37 and 5, he said commit your ways unto the Lord but the next word said trust come on here it didn't say have faith it says trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass yes Lord so all you gotta do is trust him if you just trust him he shall bring it to pass yeah. Thank you, God. what is this verse saying number one that you gotta commit your ways unto the Lord yeah. Uh -huh. He said, bring your problems, bring your burdens to him. Uh -huh. Stop bearing the, bearing the load. Uh -huh. Take the pressure off your head. Refuse to listen to the problem that's continually making his presence felt. Don't turn your solution into a problem, but turn your solution is to make easy. But many people turn their problems that God, that they give God conditions for serving him. Glory to God. Number two, it says, trust him. And number three says, and he shall bring it to pass. Glory to God. So when you do these things, you got to understand that it shall come to pass. It will surely happen in your life. Many people have been breaking the laws of faith and they're expecting wonderful things to happen. Glory to God. But yet they're inviting in defeat. Glory to God. But today I want you to examine yourself. Glory to God. Understand and see if you've been fighting against yourself. Glory to God. Have you been allowing doubt to overtake you? Have you been fighting against yourself to the point where that you're limiting God by being anxious and by being doubtful and concerning your situation rather than trusting God uh, have you been trying glory to God all these uh, hellish ways, glory to God, a means of solving problems are you fighting against yourself. Therefore, now you got to examine your life and ask God to forgive you, glory to God, for not trusting his solution, glory to God, because he got a solution to your problem. Yes, he does. Glory to God. You got to stop fighting against yourself. Tell somebody, stop fighting against Don't yourself. Fight against yourself. Understand the Bible says in Matthew 11 and 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, but the violent take it by force. Uh, the violent take it by force. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Many things will not come back to your hands until you become spiritually violent. This is because some of these things were captured because you were born and the captors are not ready to release them. Glory to God. And then the other things that we keep holding on to, things that the enemy is presenting. Glory to God. But tell somebody, you got to let them things go. And you got to begin, glory to God, to begin to fight spiritually. Glory to God. Violently. Glory to God. I want you to be expected. I want you to pray with aggression and with violent faith. Hallelujah. To the point where that you decree and declare that it shall come to pass. Come on here. At the end of the day, tell somebody and it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Now I want y'all to say it again. And I want you to say it with me to the point where you make the devil mad okay. that you even believe it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You come on here. You got to make the devil mad to the point where that in the tone of your voice, he understands that you mean what you say. I want you to uh, decree and declare with a loud voice. And it shall come to pass. Come on, say it. Come on, and it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Yes, Lord. And it shall come to pass. We're standing all over the building. Hallelujah. I want you to declare in this building. Hallelujah. I want you to take the roof off you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you believe God. Hallelujah. No. Hallelujah. Things have been coming in your life. Come on here. To the point where you question God. To the point where you didn't believe God was going to do it. But I want you to declare in this building today. Hallelujah. After today. Hallelujah. That it's on and popping. That I believe God. And that it shall come to pass. Come on here. Come on. Bless the God in your salvation. Hallelujah. You believe it. Come on here. And he 
shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. And it shall. It will come to pass. Hallelujah. He's hastening his word. Hallelujah. To perform it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Though the vision has tarried. Come on here. He said to wait on it. Come on here. Because it shall. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Hallelujah, glory to God, it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, glory to God, y'all ain't convincing me, y'all believe it. Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, it shall come to pass. Yes, it shall. Hallelujah, it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, it's been a minute, but it shall come to pass. It's been some years, but it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, glory to God, I don't even see it in the horizon, but it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, glory to God. Wait until my change come. Hallelujah. But all he was saying until the promise show up. Hallelujah. Till it start knocking on my door. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, will I wait? Hallelujah. Will I trust him? Hallelujah. Will I serve him? Hallelujah. With my whole heart. Oh, yes, I will. I'm going to serve him. Hallelujah. With my whole heart. Hallelujah. And it shall. Hallelujah. I need y'all to go over to somebody. Don't touch him. Hallelujah. Just go over to somebody on the other side. Hallelujah. And tell them and it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, I want you to encourage him. Come on here and tell him that he shall come to pass. Hallelujah, it shall come to pass. Sometimes we just need a reminder. Hallelujah, that it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, sometimes we just need an uplifting. And it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, glory to God. Sometimes we just need somebody to put it in our hearing that it shall come to pass. And the better I feel, I can keep on going until tomorrow. And tomorrow, hallelujah, going to usher me into my proper place. What? Yes, Lord. Tomorrow, going to usher me into my proper place. Oh, God. Yeah. Woo. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Sister Teresa.
Hallelujah, come on, clap your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah, come on, clap your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah, clap your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. And it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, make a note on your phone and tell yourself that it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, let the reminder pop up and it shall come to pass. Hallelujah, glory to God. Father, we thank you now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you and we give you glory. Thank you, O oh God, that the promises of God are yea and amen. Thank you, O oh God, that the anointing to pray our way through. Hallelujah, to a breakthrough is falling upon us now. Thank you, O oh God, that any power that's hindering us. Hallelujah, from the power, from the promises of God. Hallelujah, that they're coming forth to pass in our life. Oh God, that they shall die in the name of Jesus. That the anointing to decree a thing, glory to God, has already been established. Hallelujah, that it fall upon us now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh God, bring the past every precious promises. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Every promise that you made over our life and our destiny. Every promise that you made over our family. Every promise that you made over our marriage. Every promise that you made over our career and our business. Over our calling and our ministry. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God be acceptable in thy sight. And Father, any power of witchcraft now, we come against it now in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft that will come against our destiny, oh God, we kill it now and we tell it to die by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, get to the core of our foundation today and destroy every strange thing that's not like you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, give us speed for our accomplishments, oh God. Give us the power to begin and complete every good work, God. In the name of Jesus, God, thank you for increasing us in greatness today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that every power, oh God, that troubled our parents, oh God, it will not trouble us now, oh God, but we tell it to die in the name of Jesus, oh God, that we refuse to repeat the errors of our parents, oh God. In the name of Jesus, every internal, oh God, stumbling block now in our lives, God, that will come against our destiny now, oh God. We tell it to come out and die in the name of Jesus, oh God, we bury now and we cancel the spirit of oppression now that's working against our life, oh God, every evil force in our environment, every evil force in our space, oh God, every evil force in the atmosphere, we overcome it now by the blood of the Lamb, oh God, and by the words of our testimony. And so, Lord, we pursue and overtake, oh God, and we recover all that the enemy, oh God, has stolen from us in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we speak to the remainder of 2020, oh God, and we speak to 2021 now, oh God, to release our portion in full now. In the name of Jesus, everything that belongs to us, oh God, we call it to us now in the name of Jesus. We call it from the north, the south, the east, and the west, oh God. We tell now, God, every curse, God, of almost there in our destiny. We tell it to die now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, because we will finish, God, and we will finish strong in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, we thank you now for the victory that we have through Christ Jesus. And so, Lord, we give you thanks, oh, God. We give you the glory, oh, God, because it shall come to pass. I thank you, oh, God. Forgive us, God, because we didn't trust you every step of the way. God, help us now, God. Hallelujah with the finishing anointing now. In the name of Jesus. God, we give you glory. We give you the honor. Oh, God, we give you the praise. Thank you for the victory that you've given unto us. Thank you, oh, God, that we believe you now. That it shall come to pass. Thank you, God, that heaven and earth is going to pass away. But, Father, it's your words that will not pass away. And so, Lord, I thank you for the flower fade. Hallelujah, glory to God. But it's your word that's going to stay. And so, Lord, we trust you today. We believe you. And we take you at your word. Father, we trust you now. God, to do that which you said you're going to do. In the name of Jesus. I know the vision has tarried. But you told us to wait. And waiting means we serve while we wait. We believe while we wait. We praise while we wait. We're going to be of good cheer while we wait. We're going to have joy while we wait. And Father, we thank you now. 
Father, we give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. God, encourage your people. Strengthen your people, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, that we're coming now to the close of another year. But Father, we trust you for 2021. Hallelujah, that in spite of what goes on around us, that you're mindful of us. Hallelujah, that you're mindful of us. And that every promise that you made, you shall bring it to pass. Father, we thank you now. God, we give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. Because it all belongs to you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands if you believe God. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands. If you believe God. Hallelujah. If you believe he's mindful of you. Hallelujah. That he's got you on his mind. Hallelujah. All, all the trillions of people in the world. He got you on his mind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we thank him. And we give him the glory. We thank God for you. Pray that you've been encouraged by the word of God on today. Amen. Pray that you've gotten something out of the word that will help you. That will empower you. That will strengthen you in this season of your life. Regardless of what has happened in 2020. Hallelujah. God is still up to something. See what God is doing. Amen. And God's going to do it. Amen. Thank you. We want you to be encouraged to our listening audience. We want you to know that we love you. Thank you for joining in today. Amen. Pray that you was encouraged by the word. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We'll be back doing this on next week. We'll give you an opportunity to sow into refuge on today. You can do so. Amen. By sowing the dollar sign refuge house of God. Make sure it's the right one. You'll see the refuge house of God logo. It's purple and white. Amen. Refuge House of God. Dollar sign. Refuge House of God. You can go to Givelify. Search for Refuge House of God. Charlotte, North Carolina. PayPal. Refuge House of God at msn.com. We believe, amen, that you should sow into the word of God. We believe, amen, that you ought to be a giver. Amen. If you've been blessed, amen, by the word. Amen. Glory to God. If you've been blessed by watching today. Amen. So. Amen. Your seeds. Amen. Into the kingdom of God. For this is good ground. Amen. And what you're sowing in. Amen. We thank you. Amen. We want you to know that your refuge family love you. We want you to know that your refuge family is praying for you. Amen. And we want you to be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus. As we approach in this Christmas season on Friday, we want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Amen. And a Happy New Year. Amen. We pray that God will prosper you in every way. Amen. It's not about the Christmas tree. It's not about what's under the tree or what's not under the tree. Amen. But Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. And so we are grateful. Amen. For who God is. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Being born. Amen. Glory to God. And so again, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We love you and we bid you God speak. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Come on, clap your hands and tell the Lord thank you. Thank you so much for listening to our broadcast today. To hear more of these messages, we invite you to attend one of our worship experiences. We're sure you'll be blessed and encouraged. Check out our website, refugehouseofgod.org, for more details. Or call our church office at 704-697-9752. The Lord bless you and keep you as our prayer. God bless.